so my my sort of background into into coming into this role um i went to oxford as an undergraduate i did a masters at oxford and i did a funded phd so funded by the uk arts and humanities research council and towards the end of that phd it became clear that i didn't want to be an academic um but i really enjoyed working in a university context and in a context where knowledge uh is valued is prized and also you know there's an ambition to share that that insight and expertise more more widely um so having had a series of failed attempts when i was uh, as an undergraduate and masters student uh, at getting jobs working in the corporate world i tried to be a management consultant i was crap at that i tried to be a venture capitalist i was awful at that it became clear that actually the thing that really did motivate me was was you know historical research that connected with people and i think that the light bulb moment for me was in the second year of my phd i discovered a set of letters some archival material that shed light on the first performance of a uh, a hugely significant song in british national identity rule britannia and what i was able to do through these uh letters was suggest that the original meaning of the song is very very different to that which we have come to understand it today. Um I wrote a press release and it got me on the TV. I did loads of stuff on radio. It was in lots of, you know, lots of newspapers. And what was really exciting about that for me was that it 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 it, it opened my eyes to the idea that ultimately there are a whole range of different organizations individuals and 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 you know non specialists that are interested in really brilliant content and my academic colleagues would hate me for saying that the work that we do is to be a content provider but in its essence that what that's what we're doing we we you know discover research uncover great new content that we can share with different people the most important thing is a is a is a shared value system rooted on mutual respect and i think one of the big challenges around the way in which some of these structures in the you know in universities are created is that there is a hierarchy between academics who are seen as better more important more significant than the research support staff or enablers that sit around academics I think it's 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 far better to think about this in a you know in a in a much more commercial context which is that any good business doesn't employ the same type of people you know you need to have a diversity of skills a diversity of experience and a diversity of perspective in order to be able to create something truly exciting and truly innovative so to my mind I think one of the one of the most important things about building that kind of infrastructure is you know a shared investment in why are we doing this you know so for my team why are we doing this it's because we believe in the value of the past we believe in the value of heritage sites in building a more equitable and a more inclusive society today and into the future so that's yeah you know, at a macro level that's why we do what we do and at, at a micro level that translates to knowing that if we need to get projects off the ground we are going to need a mixture of probably historical expertise we'll need someone that is very good at project management and you know not all academics are great at project management um there are brilliant professionals that can help and support that so i i think for me the, the key thing is recognizing that you need different types of specialism and that each of those types of specialism has to be held at the same level of high regard if you like I, i i hate hierarchies it's something that really i i really can't bear them because i think they really inhibit great work um so so for me i think the key to building that supportive structure is both that mutual respect but also from the researcher side there's a little bit of humility that we need as well 